my fellow free and low southern thinkers. Thank you for tuning to LL3 Podcast. My name is Craig, transmitting from the beautiful swampy mangroves of South Florida. And today's date is Friday, March 19th, 2021. Yes, I did have a hiatus for over, over a week. And um, I do apologize for that because everything's like pending. But I had a lot of things that are going on in my property up in the mountain state, and things are in progress. So I'm very happy about that. And um, trying to get some internet related material upgraded up there as well. I'm not going to do my show in that area. So just to keep you in the loop. Well, um, just had a, one of my fr- brothers, I could say, in the business listening to the crappy radio going up and back. <laughs> Man, so much garbage out there. And even even the stories are, are, are horrific and stagnant and all this garbage. And of course, he's got stuff like Jim Crow. Jim Crow propaganda in colleges like in Kentucky and, and all these Ivy schools, you know, on certain other ethno, ethno, ethnic groups. So, um, yeah, as I say, it's, it's like I said, it's all going after the same old song and dance, same garbage, different package. And that's how, that's how I always got to look at these things. And, of course, there will be more, it'll be less white and not white enough. Or, get, you know, like, oh, it's just Jim Crow rhetoric. That's all it is. It's from technocrat, technocratic propaganda machine, okay? That's how you got to see it. There's no such thing as white supremacy is the greatest threat. In, in, in the globe is technocracy, okay? All they want you to do is get caught in that game, hook quick reaction, hook line and sinker. They've been doing it for a very long time. And what else can you say? I Even people, my demographics are still buying it. Habitual offenders, damn straight. That's how you gotta always observe, always observe responsibly. That's one of my little quotes on my uh, podcast when you go to my speaker page. So um, just uh, you know, just enjoying myself, get myself a little bit rejuvenated, just checking on the news, just see what's happening. And I saw to do one here related pertain to Florida with the vaccine passports. Of course, Israel's on it, but it looks like Governor DeSantis says no way in hell. So we're going to do a couple of articles pertaining to this and why is considered a tyrannical concept, all right? So, um, the vaccine passports are a terrible idea, says Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, which all the Democrats and the haters out there want to think he's the worst governor ever. No can do. And I, you know, you know me. I have my disagreements with the, with the gentleman myself, but there's time to have to back him up. Hey, that's how, you gotta, that's how you gotta do it. Judge them by their actions, right? All right, well, this one says here, we're gonna do a couple here, one from the Epoch Times, and one will be coming from the Sun Sentinel. And this one here, as it reads, on the, on the vaccine passports, our terrible idea, says Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, by Jack Phillips from the Epoch Times. As I said, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said that vaccine passports that require a person who is vaccinated for COVID-19 to participate in certain activities is a terrible idea and won't get support in Florida. It says here, the vaccine passport is a terrible idea. We are definitely not going to require anything from the state's perspective because it's totally off the table. It says a Republican told reporters on Thursday, if I have businesses that want to do that in Florida, I think that's more than a just a private decision. So I'm going to stop here, just let you know, you're going to hear stuff in the background. I am at the downtown of Saloon, located at 10 South New River Drive, in the heart of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, right along the New River, near the courthouse in the Barrera County Jail, southeast section of the, off the Andrews Avenue Bridge. You do have, you do have actual parking lot, private parking, free parking. Yeah, but if you, if you go if you go out and about other places, you make it towed. So don't blame them. Respect the domain. And so um, I'll continue on here. The idea of the CCP 
virus vaccine passport has been floated by some countries and businesses in recent months. However, critics say the proposal will be a violation of American civil liberties. I see natural rights, but I'll continue on here. Look, if you want to go to a movie theater or concert, all the, all the stuff, go. If you don't, don't. But it requires somebody to show some type of proof of vaccination. I think it's completely unacceptable, and that is not something we're going to support here in any way in Florida, the Santa said. The World Health Organization has urged countries not to use a CCP virus passport system due to how vaccines are being rolled out and distributed worldwide. Meanwhile, CCP mouthpiece, the Global Times, suggested earlier in March that the Chinese regime should build an international vaccine passport system. All hail to the New World Order. God bless technocracy. Uh-huh. Damn straight. So one moment here. I'm going to move the table back a little bit. Yeah, so good. I almost uh, dropped my uh, <laughs> almost dropped my mic with my phone here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue on. I see, please. I see. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, um, stop it. All right, good. Just um, compromise on my computer here. All right, well, it says here, I'll continue on. Chinese experts noted on Tuesday that China can help by sharing its experience and provide technical support to the WHO to organize the issue, the Global Times wrote. As China is the most experienced country in using the health code system in the world, while the WHO is the most proper organizer for that matter to ensure independence, fairness, and data security. <laughs> Us government, please trust me, I have nothing to hide. In the name of the state, amen. You know? <laughs> I think this is great. This is fantastic. I'm not just, I love the rhetoric on this, okay? So... <laughs> Believe the hype. The passport will make us feel safe, right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Ma- Ma- Maoist. Thank you, Chairman Mao. Without you, I would be I wouldn't be clueless in life. So, <laughs> yeah, the kind of people don't like that. Who the hell cares, right? My 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 heart bleeds for them. All right, so I'm gonna continue on here. China this month also launched its own vaccine passport system for Chinese nationals traveling internationally. The digital certificate shows a user's vaccination status and CCP virus test results. It is accessible via a program on WeChat, a Chinese social media platform, as reported by Al Jazeera. Meanwhile, a significant number of Americans have expressed skepticism about the CCP virus vaccines. A a Harvard Caps Harris poll earlier this month found that 41% of respondents say they are not willing to receive the shot. The most concerning Number in the month poll, in the month poll, is that four in ten of those who have not been vaccinated don't want to take the vaccine. This includes six percent of black voters. Harvard's Cap Harris poll, Cap Harris poll, polling director Mark Pence in an interview with The Hill. Well, can you blame them? Hell no, absolutely not. We're not just a bunch of lab rats or demagogues, or anything like that. Saying, um. And you know what? I got to give um, the governor props on this. All right? I'll be very fair. And I'll support him on this, um, on this, uh, on this matter. Because I am pro-right of privacy. Not just as in the U.S. Constitution, but the Florida Constitution. And I'll, I'll say that in the, I will um, talk about that after this article here. And this other article is very similar. From the Sun Sentinel. Both figure came out yesterday. And um, the rest of the afternoon says here we're not doing it. Florida won't require vaccine passports. This and it says. Let's be, let's see who who wrote this. Yeah, Cindy Kirshner Goodman. Okay, let's see what Ms. Goodman has to say about this. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says Florida will not require travelers to and from the state to have a vaccine passport, a document that shows proof of vaccination against COVID-19. The governor says some states are requiring vaccine passports to attend sporting events or other activities, he opposes that requirement. I want to make it clear in Florida, we're not doing it. The Santa said at a Thursday at a new conference in Bay County, under no circumstances that the, will the state ask you to show proof of vaccination, people 
are able to make decisions for themselves. Even as the governor has been crisscrossing the state to announce new vaccination sites, he repeatedly said, it has said shots are voluntary. The Sanders said the scientists he gathered at a public health roundtable earlier in the day believe vaccine passports are a bad, bad idea. He said he believes requiring the verification before going to an event is not how you go back to normal. I don't think private companies should require it either, he said. We're looking into what we need to do to make sure we're protecting Floridians. A vaccination report is documentation that proves you have been vaccinated against COVID-19. It could allow people to show that they have tested negative for the virus or have been vaccinated and could facilitate travel, proponents said. There has been talk that airline industry groups, cruise lines, and events could require you to show up as an app or part of your digital wallet. You know, they could be counterfeited, right? Oh, damn straight. The, um, the South Beach Food and Wine Festival has announced it will require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test dated no more than 72 hours prior to the event, which is taking place May 20th to the 23rd. So I'm just wondering how much money they'll be creating, how much revenue they'll get. Well, let's see how the sponsors will do on that, right? New York officials are testing a new mobile app that could act as a vaccine passport to fast track the reopening of theaters, stadiums, and other businesses. The app was tested during a Brooklyn Nets game at Barclays Center on February 27th, and again during the New York Rangers game at Madison Square Garden. So far, the White House has taken a hands-off approach to vaccine passports. Well, damn straight. It better, it better, let's keep it that way, okay, Ms. Um, Sydney Kirshner Goodman? Because one thing you got folks got to realize, including her, so I'm going to try to do this little media spin on this um, ordeal. And one of the things you got to look at, Article 1, Section 2 of the Florida Constitution, Basic Rights, which Article 1 is Declaration of Rights. All natural persons, female and male alike, are equal before the law and have inalienable rights, among which are the right to enjoy and defend this life, liberty to pursue happiness, to be rewarded for industry, and to require, possess, and protect property. No person shall be deprived of any right because of race, religion, national origin, or physical disability. Okay? So if I bring an exemption card in, to that wine factory, but they, they say, I can't get in? Well, you know what? Remember, see of Miami Beach, a Declaration of Rights free zone, correct? Absolutely. We're in, we're in Section 23 as well. Right of privacy. Each, every natural person has the right to be let alone and free from governmental intrusion into the person's private life except as otherwise provide herein. The section should not be construed to limit the public public's right access of public records and meetings and was provided by law. That's section 24 of that same article. And we could, we could go a little bit further back, too. The Ninth Amendment enumerated rights, okay, should not be deprived or construed by any means. And we can hit um, on the Fourteenth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution as well. And we can use that case, Roe v. Wade. But even though... Everyone assumes it's just an abortion. But if you really read the details of one paragraph, it talks about a person's right of privacy, including a woman's right to choose. So it's actually a right to privacy case. So some of these individuals here, ask them to see in Miami Beach, are you pro, do you support Roe v. Wade? If they go yes, so why are you contradicting yourself by doing these COVID passports? Think about it, folks. That is the truth. I'm not, I'm not a fan of abortion myself, but you can throw that back at it. It's time to give these parasites a taste of their own medicine. It's not that difficult. All you got to do is read, share, and throw questions at them. But remember, they're servants, not masters. And they really, a lot of them really crap at their job. Look at Miami Beach, for goodness sakes. All hell, all hell, all hell in a handbasket. They're building all these big fancy... High rises. I'm expecting that damn whole place to sink anytime soon. You know why? Because Florida is a swampy mangrove. So a lot. Of, so, but these people don't have a clue. That's how. And, and so, if so, what's going to happen if the collapse? What are we going to do? Going to blame climate change? No, you blame it on your so-called progress, which is a road to stagnity. So one thing I thought you folks know for sure. I will do give the kudos to Governor DeSantis. He chose wisely on this matter. But that means he's not 
you're gonna be my best friend, okay? <laughs> well, um, that's what I'm gonna do right now, so um, I'll probably do some more shows along the way. I'd like to thank everyone for listening, but feel free to download and share us on your social media networks. If you have questions, comments, and things that you want to check out, whatever you do, please send your correspondence to the quorum. Furthermore, I'll leave the footnotes of this um, episode on my speaker page. And if you want to contact me, you can hit me at LokiLuckNumbers03 at ProtonMail.com. If you want to donate, you can hit me at PayPal.me or Cash.app forward slash LokiLuckNumber3. Both, both of them are working. And they're in good shape. I want to try, I'm still going to look in a few other areas if you were to send me contributions that'll be fine and um support the epoch times all right donations are very good i always um, admire their work and everyone in florida do us a favor and contact donor say and say thank you for doing the right thing plain and simple all right, folks, once again, thank you for your time. But always remember that the Imaniac Resistance is healthy for the soul and can liberate humanity. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep on spreading the love. And may your guardian spirits be with you.